So tomorrow, April 16th, 2025, we are expecting a Skymaster event. That is a routine pre-scheduled military exercise that can be forecast or predicted weeks, if not months, or maybe even years in advance. So tomorrow, a lot of people are going to tell you that what's going on has to do with Iran or the buildup in Diego Garcia or something along those lines. And I'm here to tell you that this is at least the third April in a row where a Skymaster event has occurred. So it really is unlikely to have anything to do with whatever happens to be going on in the world at this point in time and they are able to be predicted in advance like this to the point that earlier in this month i posted a little informatic on x for your benefit explaining exactly what i'm telling you right now and suggesting that what people who are interested may want to do is keep an eye out for any airspace reservations that are really conspicuous and sure enough friends of the channel pdgls and the intel frog both put out notices to their audiences of unusual airspace reservations over the Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, over the Gulf of America, as well as, if you can believe it, Lake Superior. These are all areas that this project has tracked in the past because they are the areas where E6s, or for the Lake Superior region, the E4s in particular, will usually go. And this is one of the things that we actually would expect during a Skymaster event. Now, if you're interested in learning more about Skymaster events, I have some information on my channel, on my X, for you to peruse. I also have archival recordings of of some of the Sky Master events that we've happened to capture over the last two years, and those will be available for you. Uh, as far as tomorrow, if you take a look at the airspace reservations, now these things last about 12 hours, but you might notice that they start at 10 UTC or about 6 Eastern, what would that be, like 3 Pacific or something like that? 3 AM. That's early. I don't feel like waking up early to monitor the HFGCS and stream for you. If it happens to still be ongoing when I wake up, that'll be great. I'll do a, maybe do a commentary stream if I can. But what I will have going on is the usual 24-7 stream. Uh, well, usual at least, you know, I started that again this month. And after this month, we'll see what we do. But you can expect that stream to be ongoing and it'll happen to capture what it can capture but what i want to let you guys know friend of the channel null some of you guys know null i've shouted him out multiple times in the past for a variety of things one of the things that null is very good at is identifying some additional structures and relationships between ems that are broadcast which a lot of people who claim to have monitored the hfgcs for years uh, for decades i mean they'll say that but then they'll never have noticed any structures or relationships between eams like this that's pretty embarrassing for them null is basically styling all over you guys he's even styling over me a little bit so that's null if you're not familiar but null will be a great resource for anyone interested in all this stuff tomorrow he's going to be setting out multiple streams using sdrutah.org to capture and archive any activity during tomorrow's sky master event unless you know god forbid for some reason it gets canceled or delayed but that will be there for people and i can't think of anything else anyone you know the usual questions is this real <sighs> For God's sakes. Yeah, it's real. Yeah, a bomb is going to f drop on you right now. That's, it's real. What if this happened? What if that happened? What if a bomb drops on your head right now? You guys drive me nuts. You guys, what? How can it be real if a random account on X is telling you it's going to happen weeks in advance, months in advance? What are you talking about? Ask normal questions. Why can't people be normal? For God's sakes. Why can't people just be normal? Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something and bye-bye.